it's Michelle from Voltap. Why don't we go through some of these questions together? Voltap allows the creation of applications to be accessible on computers as well as smartphones. These applications are designed using a technique accessible to all, the no-code, that allows us to then create intelligent applications without technical knowledge. So no-code is a visual programming method using simple interfaces, which allows you to develop without the need to write lines of code. Voltap's most unique feature is definitely their little bricks of code. So Voltap is comprised of millions of bricks of code called nodes. Each node controls a different feature, the text, the buttons, the icons. They're all visually combinable and constitute your app and your design will come alive. You can link your nodes together, combine them and choose the degree of complexity yourself. You can customize the behavior of each node thanks to the graph mode, which allows you to draw your logic as a tree scenario. Finally, Voltap allows you to copy and paste any of these features from any of the other projects that you've worked on, allowing to reuse everything you've created. And using the power of templates created by the community and thanks to the collaborative online features, the reuse of nodes through copy and paste and adding people to your projects with comments, you can bring your project to life faster than lightning. No, not at all. All you need is a computer connected to the internet and access to editor.voltapp.tech via your browser. We've designed tutorials and trainings that are accessible to everyone via our complete guide or our detailed trainings. And by watching them, you will be able to easily create applications without any computer knowledge or code. Voltap has been developed to be accessible to the greatest number of people. Not at all. Traditional developers have been using more and more powerful languages to accelerate their creations, and the evolution of computer science tends towards more accessibility. Voltap makes the difference by letting you fully customize each brick of code, the nodes, and making up your own application. You get simplicity and power. If you use expert developers, you can for the first time share with them in a visual collaborative creation environment while letting them create their own bricks, their own nodes, in line code, which you can then reuse without needing to fully understand the code yourself. A tool like Voltap is code, but much more accessible because everything has already been coded. You just have to assemble and configure it. So if Voltap is a no-code tool, there is code behind each node that will make up your project. Learning how to use Voltap allows you to better understand how an application works, its interfaces, its data, its user management. So without having to write lines and lines of code, you become a developer. You can use programming logic. These skills will be very useful for any future development environment in either lines of code or in the no-code universe. Voltap allows you to develop a really large number of different kind of applications. There's not really a limit. To put it simply though, we can say that there are two categories that most apps would fall under. Your core business app, so an Uber Eats for a meal delivery service or a LinkedIn social networking service, or the support of your activity. So a CRM type follow-up, marketplace for customers, accounting services, things like that. Feel free to go check out our examples page for even more examples. Creating an app via Voltap is on average 10 times faster than traditional development methods, where you have to code everything from A to Z. After that, it really just depends on your ambition. You can spend an hour or two customizing one of the templates available on Voltap yourself, or ask someone to do it, even if that person doesn't know how to code. The advantage is that with our no-code and collaborative approach, you can always follow the evolution and take control of the project if you want. Voltap has been designed to be operational without the need to know how to code or to master any computer languages. You can therefore take part of this project yourself. You will gain very useful no-code development skills for the future. 
You can also ask a member of your team to become project manager and to specialize in no-code. In both cases, self-learning is done through the complete Vault app guide, and you can also join our community on Discord. You can also ask for help in the form of one of our experts who will accompany you in the creation of your product, explain to you how to modify it and how to make it evolve. Vault app also allows you to involve professional developers on your project. And they will save a lot of time because they will not have to type lines and lines of code. But if you wish, they can even quickly build nodes with lines of code just for your application. You can work with them collaboratively and reuse their codes as custom nodes. There are so many reasons for you to have your own application. You can automate all of your tasks. It's important to not depend on a marketplace. It's important to create your own digital products. Maybe you want to have complete control over your data. Maybe you want to have even more control over the design or the logic of your features. Maybe you would like to control the evolution of your app. Maybe you want to monetize parts of your business. There are so many reasons. And in all of the cases, internalizing the no-code digital competence allows you to be more autonomous. Unlike the majority of no-code tools, Vault App allows you to evolve your application and quickly gather expert profiles within a collaborative and simple development environment that you control. Absolutely. Vault App integrates many no-code services such as Airtable or Google Sheets, Vault App is already compatible with more than 3,000 applications thanks to its native webhook integrations, a feature that allows you to connect to software that standardizes and connects email, calendar, and payment applications. Feel free to discover our full list via services like Zapier, Make, or N8N. Of course, it's possible to work with several people on the same project. For this, Voltap offers sharing options. Yes, Voltap apps are software and can be installed either on a device like a phone or a computer, or on a server that can be accessed via a web browser that connects to a link. This is called a web app. Vault App allows you to adapt the design of your app to all different screen sizes like phones, tablets, TV, web pages, and more. Vault App allows you to create applications that fit all different devices and for all different brands. You can then distribute your app however you would like. It can either be via a public app store, like Apple's App Store or Google Play. It can be via a private app store, maybe within your company, or maybe you create a private app store within Vault App to then put all of your other apps inside. Or it can also be just simply via a link in your browser for a mobile or desktop viewing. And in order for you to easily share your app, Vault App will create a QR code so that you can share your app with others. Of course, Vault App allows you to choose exactly where your applications, the information interface files, and your data, where to retrieve and write information, are stored. You can therefore choose exactly where they are stored and their levels of security. Yes, Vault App allows you to integrate your own code in JavaScript and in CCS. And instead of recoding everything from scratch, you will only have to rewrite the small percentage of lines of codes that you actually need. And don't forget, you can connect to any API. So to get started, you can test Vault App for free during the 15-day trial period. There are then lots of different subscriptions to Vault App, and I invite you to check out our page in order to see which subscription would be best suited for you. As part of the subscription to Vault App, you will benefit from the regular addition of new features by the Vault App team and by the community, as well as stability and easy access to the modification and evolution of your application. Vault App lets you choose exactly where your data is stored. There are several types of databases or backends to choose from. The simplest is Airtable, or the most advanced and open source is Supabase. You can connect any service via webhooks or connect your private server data via JavaScript.
there are a few things to consider when you're starting to think about the process of creating an app for your business. So first, you always have to start from the activity flow that you want to digitalize. Who are the categories of users? Is it customers? Is it administrators? Partners? Who are we going to target? Who are we going to focus on? Then we move on to the pages of the interface with a design tool. So what kind of pages are you going to have? What kind of features do you want to highlight? And what's the logic of how you're going to walk people through these pages? Then we need to make a list of existing data that you already have. So product references, maybe team directories, or data that you want your users to create. So retrieving orders, tracking projects, uh, other customer information. The combination of both is going to be a system that will make your app live as an autonomous system, being able to have both coming together. You also want to define what your user journey is going to be with your user experience steps. So is it going to be a simple uh, process? Is it a sign up, fill in information, and choose an offer? That's a very simple uh, process that you can take your customers through that journey, and you can use that template for a lot of different businesses, whether it's to buy products, services, to register for different consultations. Uh, this three-part process can be easily repeated. You want to really think about what the necessary features you will need for your app would be. So you need to come up with a list of necessary features. And then the second part is prioritizing that list. What are features that you need immediately to get started? And what are some features that you might like to have in the future? You also want to specify when you would like your minimal, minimum viable product. So at the very bare bones, when do I want to have this started so that it can be functional so people can start using it immediately? And what are those bare bones, bare things that you would need to get started? And finally, of course, you need to think about what kind of resources you want to invest in this project. It can be both time and money. So don't forget you can save both with expert guidance.